Sup guys, he King here, bringing you another live reaction to this month's Attack on Titan, chapter 118. Now, I didn't do last month's one, sorry about that. Wasn't particularly in the mood, uh, you know, you just get that feeling and you can't be bothered. Plus, Game of Thrones and everything, so I was busy working on my, on my edits for that. But, uh, yeah, I'm uh, up to date now, so I'll be reading this chapter now for this month and see how it goes. Where did we leave off? Zeke appeared at the end and started helping Eren when, you know, all seemed to be lost. We did get Eren using the Warhammer Titan abilities, fighting uh, the Jaw Titan and the Armor Titan and the Car Titan and a big ass gun with McGough now being a general, using it to... Pretty much a sort of one hit, one hit kill uh, Aaron and uh, sort of slowing him down basically, and then Zeke appearing to save the day. We still don't know what happened with Levi and Hanji, but uh, uh, I suppose we'll get answers to that probably next of volume, since this is the end of the current volume, which is volume. I believe this is volume twenty nine. So yeah, so next volume is the start of volume 30. We are getting to the end of the series guys. We are getting to the end. I am predicting volume uh, 32 to be the end of it. So we still have, after this chapter, we have, I predict, 12 chapters left. Oh, that's pretty much basically a, a year. Let's see how it goes. Oh, and the anime as well. I want to talk about that quickly. Uh, which studio might not be animating the rest of the series after season three? So, uh, I don't know. Those are rumors at the moment, but uh, they might be real, uh, which is very worrying. But, you know, we'll leave that for later when it comes. But now uh, let's focus on this. So, happy reading, yeah? Okay, let's do it. So, immediately we start with... Uh, <laughs> We start with Zeke where we left off, and he's throwing rocks. He's throwing chunks. Oh, and the ep and the uh, chapter is called Foul Play. So he's throwing rocks at the Zeppelins that are now above the. I believe this is Shingunxia, or is it? Tro I think it's Shingunxia. It's not Trost. Uh, and he's just throwing those blips, and there's yeah, those blips are exploding. I mean, he pretty much hits them, and boom, they 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 explode. They hit their target, and there's Yalina. On, on top of uh, the uh, castle walls with her arms upstretched, like, yo, like, she's looking up at heaven, like, just burning down, basically. Uh, great, great, great panel, by the way, but uh, weird. Ah, uh, Zeke. Well, wow, okay, like, yeah, th this chick is obsessed. Seriously, I see bad things happening to her at the end, but she is obsessed. We got a panel of McGough now, shit, Zeke, and then now a panel of uh, the Mute Titan, uh, the, the Mute, the Cart Titan, adjust the aim to blow off his nape, understood, and she's, uh, Peckham's talking by the way, so, hurry up Peck, so, she's trying to adjust the aim now, ugh, and there's Zeke preparing to throw, oh, Zeke, Zeke sees her and he starts throwing rocks at her, boom, yeah, and she, she just, she dodges, she dodges quickly, she jumps off the wall uh, in time and she grabs on, she manages to grab on uh, to like one of the columns, I cannot say it is wise to face the beast in a firefight, no, I, I will pass judgement on the traitor, but, and now she's scaling the walls basically and then now you've got the survey corpse coming towards her at the same time. It's the cart. Let's attack it on both flanks. Okay, so yeah. Uh, now she she climbs back onto the wall. Peckham's climbed back onto the wall. She's making a run for it. And you got the survey corps members split into two groups. So now you got the you got one going from one side of the wall and the other one going from the other side, sort of trying to properly overtake her. We're cutting to the jaw titan now, Pollock. Uh, yeah, that, that was, uh, when Aaron did his uh, Warhammer Titan move. The spikes went through him, so. But he's he's got one eye open, so he's obviously awake. And we're cutting to a panel of him inside. Shit, I took a severe blow. My head is going dizzy. And now we're getting a panel of uh, Reyna inside East Titan. And East Titan is fucked. Like, the armor Titan's on the floor, and it, and it's and his head is severed from here. Like and that, that part of the head is just lying on its side, and that part's remaining. Like, Jesus. And Aaron, Aaron's just busy like getting back up and that, he's recovering, and there's Zeke, and they, they both see each other now, they're both looking at each other, Zeke on top of the wall looking down on Aaron, Aaron looking up at him like, and then there's the soldiers, I think there's the Marlene soldiers, we can see Gabby in the background, they're all staring at the, at the attack titan basically, the founder, he's heading towards the beast, so their goal really is to have their bodies come into contact, Gabby, we have to stop them, 
uh, and there's code. She's with, she's with code basically. How are we supposed to do that? All we can do is trust in the commander's group and leave the Titan battle to them. We have our own battles to fight. Oh, okay, we're getting a panel with them. I'll get Falcom out of the enemy camp. You go to the blip intended for evacuation at station in the south. No, I'll go rescue him too. Gabby, I'm the one who dragged Falcom into this after all. I was saved so many times. I, the top cadets, did not. I, the top cadet, cadet's uh, translation is a bit off there, did nothing but get saved by him over and over. To selfishly run when I've caused this much trouble is impossible. I love how she's admitting that she's responsible for all this crap that Falcom's in, but I wish she would take some responsibility for some of the shit she's caused to the fucking Sasha family. Like, I'm hoping we get some sort of resolution there, like. <coughs> now we're cutting to the soldiers and Falcom in the cell. Oi, open the door, what's going on outside? Oi, let us out. There's that uh, asshole soldier with the, with the glasses, like the one that was talking shit about Historia. Uh, Falcom is sitting at the far end and he's and Neil, is it Neil? Uh, Erwin's friend sitting with him. I'm not dying like, like this. Must be an attack from Marlene. They might have come to save you. There's no way the Marlene army would do something like that. Rescuing Italians. Uh, but you surely have a family waiting for your return, right? If you miss this chance, you'll never be able to go home. I most likely won't be able to meet my wife and daughters again with a single scream from Zeke I'd become a monster there were still plenty of things I wanted to tell my daughters though I'm as good as dead now so Neil's drank some of the wine as well that's that's a shame and now we're cut into a panel of our heroes there's Nicola, Jean holding the bar one of the bars Connie, Armin and Mikasa and it's Okuyo Bayou <laughs> coming to save the day with keys yep he's opening the cell door for them yep on on your on your kapu, what's going? I'm so sorry for the translation of his name. I just don't know how to say it properly, guys. On your kapu, on your kapai, pony, bollocks! What's happening out there? Gene, Gene's pretty much saying that the Malian army have attacked on the sky with their lips. Oh god, I'm sorry for the accent, guys. I'm just trying to keep it consistent so you guys know what I'm talking. I'm so sorry. Uh, Approximately 500 soldiers got attacked by the armor, the jaw, and the cart sim simultaneously. Erin is facing them alone. So yeah, Amiga's has just got a big shock on her face. Connie, everyone, yeah, they just shook up. He's desperately struggling, but he'll but he'll get down. He'll get done in sooner or later. The founder will be, will be stolen by Marlene. Um, God, I'm so sorry for that accent. It's terrible. Please lend him a hand. Support Erin with everyone. So we're getting the. The guys are getting rescued and they're gonna go into the nick of the fray to oh, who Connie just rushed out and just grabbed Okobayu and pinning him to the wall. Stop bullshitting me, bastard! Who the fuck is everyone? That's your fight. You thought we'd obey this fucking traitor? Sorry, but if I opposed your leader, I'd just get my head blown up. Huh? You acting nice with us was all part of your plan to seize Paradise Island behind our back. Enough. I've had enough of being betrayed by Reyna, Bertold, Annie. Aaron, I'm fucking done with this shit. Wow, Connie's Connie's losing his mind. Like, damn. Uh, why? Why would he have to? Why would we have to assist Aaron and become unable to have children? Oi. Uh, okay, boy, he's like, who's touching him? It's uh, it's Armin. Let's hear him out. Armin's trying to calm the situation down. Okay, boy, he's recovering. I really did not know about the wine or the enthusiasm plan, save for the other volunteers. Huh? I think Inikali. I think it's true. Yalina forbid us to speak to the volunteers about the wine. Above all, I don't want to help with the infusion of Eldalians. We wanted to develop Paradise Island and defeat Marlene together. We abandoned everything and came to this island for this purpose. We devoted ourselves for the sake of everyone on this island. We could do it because we believed in the island's future. Children are the future. If this enthusiasm plan here were, were were to be implemented, then what is it? What is it we even came here to do? So yeah, he's getting through to them now. He's making a good point. Like some of these people really didn't want to be part of this. Please believe me. I believe Armin's the first guy to come up. I believe you. You know why? Because uh, last time we saw Armin, and Yarlina explained the plan. Armin started crying, uh, and it was a. It, you could see he was very happy because he started to realize immediately that uh. Aaron would not be doing this crap. He knows Aaron, okay? They're friends for Christ's sake. They're best friends. So Armin would know 
would know instantly hearing such a story that Aaron would be completely against it. So he's happy. He was happy when he started crying and he started putting his little acting going, oh, it's great and that. But not because he, he, he believes it's great. It's not great. He, he was crying and joyful because he knew Aaron was up to something and it did not involve the CUV as a plan. So, yeah, I believe you, Armin. You said back then that everyone exists because someone wished for them to exist, including the subjects of Ymir. Because it would be more interesting if different kinds of people existed, right? You showed that your stance completely opposes Zeke's ideology. You were always that kind of person. Now get up or on your on your kapu, Armin. I believe your genes not the second. I believe you too. I believe you too. But what do we do if we help Aaron and Zeke? Then the Eurofusionism plan will be executed, right? No, we'll in, we'll impend the plan. But if these two are lost, then the island won't be able to protect itself from the world, from the world armies. Tell well then, John and Connie. Well then, what the f what the fucking are you saying we should do? What the fuck are you saying we should do? We must let we must at least at, let, we must at least let once let the world witness the power of the rumbling. We must at least once let the okay. So that the rumbling is back in effect. Armin's oh, giving Mikasa a look. Mikasa, what do you want to do? Do you want to help Eren? Mikasa is just silent like, I do, but that's surely like Eren said. What's she doing? She's pointing to herself. It's because I'm an Ackerman. That's not my own free will. The Connie and Jean are just like her. I think, oh, Armin's trying to, I think that's a lie Eren made up. The fact that I get headaches from time to time, it's true. Why would you think it's a lie? Why? You say, why you say, uh, I'm gonna pause it here, guys. <laughs> yeah, we're back again. So yeah, Armin's trying to uh, sort this situation out. I wanna, I just woke up, guys. It's like 4.30 p.m. Like, I sleep very late and wake up late, so apologize for having a snack. Plus, I gotta eat these before they run out of the day, so. Why you say, um, Aaron wishing for Idalians to become completely unable have, to have children. You guys seriously believe that? Yeah. Well, I did think that, well, that, 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 that wasn't like him, but to go as far as saying it's impossible, but it is impossible, right? Isn't it Aaron we're talking about? Well, then why? Why doesn't he oppose Zeke and Yalina? It doesn't matter if he doesn't oppose them. The one who makes the final call on how to use the power of the founder is Aaron himself. Zeke can't control it, Aaron can. He just needs someone to activate it. So from the moment Yalina made a proposal to him, Aaron had no choice but to do this. If he refused, then I don't know what method Yalina used, but if he showed his agreement and managed to make her believe that he was their ally, then he could protect the island with the rumbling. Moreover, the moment he activates this rumbling is now that it is now that the main forces of the world nations are all gathering in Marlene. Ah, the Marlene are there. So if he activates the rumbling, all those guys will get shit scared and they'll pretty much be like, nope, we're leaving. Just as planned, awakening just a few hundreds of titans in walls of Shingangsha is enough. If the world's strongest armed forces are annihilated, then from now on, now on, no one will be able to lay their hands on paradise for the next 50 years. Connie's having doubts about this, like, he just, can we go home, and there's the Sasha family, can we go home now? I'm sorry, please hold on a little longer. And that's Nikolai trying to, sad man, like, he's really, he's really loving this family, man. Now, now to Jean, I've been saying ever since we were trainees that this guy was dangerous. Aaron is leading us all straight into hell. A real piece of shit, that guy. And that bastard, I envied him because he was so damn cool. It irritates me to no end, but I won't get what well, but I but I don't want that guy to die yet. That's uh wow. That's the first time Jeans re admitted that Aaron is cool? So what he was jealous? Like So he's ba so basically Aaron is the Sasuke of, of, of Attack on Titan and, and, and Jean is Naruto. <laughs> like he's jealous. Uh well, maybe it's the other way around. Uh Armin is happy hearing that, Mikasa, 
No, Connie. Well, if he kicks the bucket now, I won't be able to suck him. <laughs> okay, but let's go. We're releasing all the soldiers who got locked up. Nikolai, you're in charge of the Bras family. Of course. So who who's coming out then? So everyone's running up the stairs. Why is Aaron hiding his true intentions? Because I was asking this and abandoning us, telling me he hated me. Why would Aaron say something like that? That. And uh, Armin's getting a panel flashback to Aaron at the ocean pointing. No way. I think he's realised something, huh? At least the fact that your head would hurt a lot sometimes. It's something both Aaron and I have known since forever. He used that to make the lie more believable. Because it's a lie he forced himself to make for sure. He can uh, you, We can ask Aaron when everything's over. Because that doesn't sound believable of that. Mm. Interesting. So Aaron lied, perhaps. I've never seen Levi get headaches. That's the thing. He never had headaches, so... So there's the soldiers, uh, younger soldiers, pointing guns at them as they're coming up the stairs. Oi, stop right there. This place is under the control of the Jaegerist. Don't act as you... And he gets grabbed by Jean. Listen, trainee, do you intend to risk your life to stop us from rescuing your dear Mr. Jaeger? No. Then don't prevent the whole army forces from fighting against Marlene. Unlock all the cells. They're unlocking all the cells now. All the commanders are coming out. Oh, there's there's a commander. Connie finds instructor, instructor Shadis. Those injuries. I got into a fight with a beer. I'm fine. Go. So Shadis is alive. Yay! And there's pictures as well. Come in the pictures. I haven't gone see now yet. Are you are you are you right? I haven't gone see now yet. But I drank too much. Ah shit! So he drank the wine as well. For fuck's sake! You'd think he would be the one person who wouldn't drink the wine. Like, listen well, everyone. There is only a limited number of three-dimensional maneuver gear, gear more, equipments here. Those who aren't wearing a black armband, gear up in uh, uh, priority. So he's wearing a black armband, basically signifying that yeah, he drank the wine. As for the heavy drinkers who successfully fell for the enemy's plan, follow me. Come to the front line and face the invaders. Understood? Oh, I feel like that's a sacrifice play. Come and face the invaders. I wonder if they're purposely going to go out there and they're going to have Zeke, like, transform them. And then boom. I'm glad. So Mikasa's in a room and there's a girl there with the, with the, with the maneuver gear. I'm glad. That we're what that we're carrying the same resolution and that I can fight together with you again. Yeah, it's it's the little girl that uh, I think Mikasa saved all those years ago. She's putting on her gear and she's getting her scarf. Are you leaving that scarf behind? I am. Oh, wow. That's uh unexpected. So now we got all the, we got uh, Armin leading the charge with Mikasa and John uh, carrying the uh, thunder spears and Connie behind them and they're climbing up and there's Yarlina sitting down on the freaking column looking up and she sees them and then she looks back at the sky she does not give a shit and now the guys are looking up and they're seeing one of the blimps burning and crushing down and exploding into the city like it's just chaos now the gate of Shingong Shino district has been blocked oh great. Zeke has took down the ship. The moment that's going to change history is almost here. There's Aaron still recovering, looking at Zeke. And there's uh, the armor titan going in for the kill. Oh, he's recovered now. Oh, Zeke just threw some rocks there at, uh, at Raynor and they go through him, damaging him. They just cut off his leg for fuck's sake. Like, damn. Do, do they even need our help? Connie, do they even need our help? Why? Why is Zeke here? Is Gene asking this? There's no way Captain Levi would have him set free. Oi, what happened to Captain and Hanji? It seems obvious they must have been defeated by Zeke. He showed up at the time and place he had agreed on with Aaron like he had promised to. Connie's just like, that's just ridiculous. Aaron Armin is getting pissed. That's too bad. That's too bad. But there's but that's there's no other way. It's in order for Zeke and Aaron to save the world. Let's join the Jaeger faction and help them coming into contact. Oh no, that's that's uh, that's Armin saying this shit. That's too bad, but there's no other way. It's in order for Zeke and Aaron to save the world. Let's join the Jaeger faction and help them coming into contact. So Aaron, Armin, I feel like Armin is just bullshitting his way to convince Yalina. 
Oh, Mikasa is going for a uh, Mikasa is going for for her blades, and Armin's just like her. He looks back and whoa. That is a scary ass panel, bro. There's Yanina looking down at Armin, and she's got those fucked up eyes. And now she's back to being uh, happy go lucky. What the fuck was that reaction? She looked scary, bro. Please help Eren and Zeke. I trust you, Armin. Armin's just got this look like. Like he's fuck, he's like he's just seen like like he's just been scarred for life. So everyone starts blazing in. Next panel is just it's just chaos. The blips are falling down and burning everything. Uh, Gabby's one of the Marlene soldiers. The airship. Wait, what's this uh, metallic pipe? It's oh uh, oh right. The uh, the the Marleans have these rifles on them. It's a rifle to be used against Titans. Apparently it's diff difficult to kill them though, unless you catch a proper hold of the center of their nape. So they're looking now. There's soldiers coming out. And there's Falcom. Oh, oh. There's Falcom coming out of the area now. And they're all rushing. Oh, Falcom's of Neil. It's a sea of fire. There's no place from where to escape like this. What are you saying? Fight. Neil's fight. What's wrong? Neil sees them. Shit, they found us. It's my older brother, I see. You have no choice but to fight. We have. And Colt is preparing to shoot them. I'm going to restrain this prisoner in private. Devils. Colt, wait. Gabby's like, Colt, wait, what? Wow, she actually she actually stopped Colt from sh from causing any harm. Like, wow. And now they're coming face to face. This is not a place for children. Go, Neil's like, go back home. So he gives them to his brother and they're running off. Then Falcon looks back. Mr. Neil, Mr. Nile, uh, thank you. And he, Nile gives him a handshake. Oh, that's so sweet. Like, that's probably the one redeeming thing Gabby's done right now. Wow, uh, that was a big change. And usually she would just be like, shoot it. But no, she was just like, no, don't, don't, don't kill them. Colt and uh, Falcon hugging Gabby. Why do you trust the enemy? Uh, no. Here, who's calling out here to Nikolai? This is bad. Hide. The fire won't reach here. Still, the exit is going to be blocked by, by flames. We have no other choice but to hide around here until the fight is over. So it's Nikolai with the Browse family. Gabby, Gabby hears them. She appears to be conflicted. Mia and Ben, they did manage to escape as well, right? If it's the two of them, I'm sure they're, they're all right. They are strong. Oh, they mentioned them too. That's, uh, wow, they even care. Like, that's sad. G Gabby and Falcom, I think they're hiding in a building. Yeah, oi. Why do you even worry? Uh, she's having flashbacks now to... Oh, no, it's the it's uh, Sasha's... It's the girl Sasha's sake. Why do you even worry about the people who killed my sister? I can't forgive them. I want to kill them. Oh, and Gabby's crying now. Looks like they're gone already. Let's go as well. Gabby. Falcom's like Gabby. There were no devils on this island. There were only people. Finally, I understand Raina's feelings. We, these people that we had not even ever seen, all of them, we decided they were all devils. In the airship I climbed and always the same thing, repeating, always the same thing. Gabby's, wow, Gabby's having a breakdown, wow, um, that's super hardcore development, I'm impressed, wow, uh, I'm gonna stop it here guys, because my batteries are about to run out as well, so. And we're back again, and hot damn, I'm enjoying this development that Gabby's going through, like, uh, I'm sorry, Falcon. Even though you un understood, I dragged you into this. I supported the attack on Liberal, felt knowing that the wounded soldier in the hospital was Aaron Yeager. I kept sending his letters to his to his comrades from a post box on, outside this dist district. And so many were killed in Liberal. So, Uda and Sophia died because of me. Gabby's realizing what he's done. There's cold listening to all of this, and she's like, oh. Also, I like you. Oh, wow. Uh, he's confessing time. Uh, way to go, uh, Falcom. I became, I became a warrior cadet because I didn't want you to inherit the armor titan. I wanted you to live a long life so you could marry me and be happy forever. Oh, Gabby. Gabby's giving Falcom a colder look. Falcom getting red in the face. What are you saying? 
since I might become a Titan, now I don't have anything left to say anymore. Oh, that's sad, man. Gabby, Gabby grabs his, uh, grabs his, uh, the, the black, the black album anyway, and, uh, rips it off. Let's go. If Zeke knew you, uh, you ingested the spinal fluid, that prevent him, that, that would prevent him from screaming, maybe. Why do you think, no, no, Zeke doesn't give a shit, does he? No, he doesn't give a shit. What's this say, like, maybe, maybe, maybe why, because Colt, Colt and him are close, perhaps, and maybe he won't do it because he's his brother? Yeah, I, I don't think that's going to happen. Zeke's going to scream, and it's going to be savage, and it's going to be sad. Anyway, we're back with Mikasa, Armin, Connie, and Jean, and they're taking cover behind the buildings, and they get, they're getting fired at by the Molly soldiers. It's impossible. There are too many uh, uh, enemies. We can't get close to Eren. Uh, I mean, Mikasa and Armin. The jaw, uh, the jaw's climbing on the building rooftops, going for them. Zeke's throwing his rocks at them, and yeah, he he obliterates a uh, uh, Pollock man, and he's just going down. And 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 Eren and Zeke are still just staring at each other like, Eren, it's almost time. Just a little bit more, and our dream will come true. A little bit more, and. Zeke's just noticed something. What's that? So there's something burning on the far side of the wall, and oh shit! It's uh, it's Peckham's. It's Peckham's Titan form, and it's it's a skeleton now. And there's the gun on it, the car Titan. You've been defeated like that, Pikachun. So there's the soldiers. What the hell's going on? We did it. We brought down the cart. I thought we we had finally caught up with you but who defeated it is that flock that's flock that little arso who defeated it you killed it right oh some dude just got shot in the head boom uh chase him away oh shit uh it, peckham has somehow made herself look like she's dissolving but she's not and the soldiers are underneath the skeleton firing from from the skeleton's cover like shit and the gun's been positioned to aim at Zeke. And there's Peckham's. Oh, did they, did they, did they pull like the stunt they did back in, uh, that, uh, that Aaron and Armin pulled back in, back on the, back in, uh, when they were fighting Bertold, like, like a fake body, like, to distract them with. It's a surprise attack with only one shot. So Peckham's out of the Titan and like, oh, what a sneaky bitch. General McGough. Oh, he shoots. He shoots at Zeke one shot and it goes through the nape and it hits Zeke and it blows out his uh, it blows out like this part this part of his arm and I think yeah that part of his arm and leg and back maybe and the other characters are watching from the safety of the roof Aaron sees this Aaron's just like and Yarlina's seeing this as well like he shook up and Zeke falls like King Kong man he falls from the wall down crushing down Raina and Pollock were seeing this. Peckham, no way. It's the commander. Did we kill him? Peckham's like, did we kill him? Ah, I can't focus the angle of fire. Move, hurry. If he still has a little bit of life left in him, we will shout for sure. We will shout for sure. You mean we will shoot for sure. Again, translation. Zeke's critical condition could mean enormous damage. And uh, the final panel ends with uh, Gabby and Falcom and Colt. And that was it. That was uh, that was chapter one hundred and eighteen. Oh my god, that was a that was a pretty good intense chapter, man. And so much character development from Gabby. Like she finally admitted her faults. Falcom admitted his feelings. We got some moments with Neo and showcasing Gabby that you know showcasing Gabby that now she's starting to believe that no no these people aren't devils. They are people. They are just normal people who want to live their lives, and we we ruined it for them. And Zeke just slaughtering everyone and destroying the airships. So there's no, there's no more airships. They obviously said there was one at the south. So there's probably one airship still left. But uh, the exit to the to to getting out of Shingongshia is now blocked by a by a by a destroyed airship. So not, the Marlins can't technically escape outside. They're trapped in there. So it's like it's just a total war zone now of chaos. Uh, all the characters have assembled and they're, they're kicking ass. But. Uh, Hanji and Levi, we still don't know what's happened to them, we still don't know what's happened to Historia, those are, those are still three questions that remain. Um, yeah, it definitely feels like the manga is, 
driving to the end of the story now, but uh, I still don't think for a second that we got like four chapters left. Like that would be insane. So uh, I do, I do think we got eight or twelve chapters left before the series ends. Uh, I'm, I'm hope, I'm hope. To be honest, I'm kind of hoping it is eight so that we can just get to the end already. But uh, you know, part of me is also like, screw it. I, I want it to be like twelve. Is it twelve? I mean, what month are we in now? We're in June, so July, August. Uh, September, October, uh, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. No, that, that adds up, yeah, because my calculations were that the, the manga would either end in February next year or, or June next year. So, yeah, uh, if, if there are 12 chapters left, then this is pretty much like sort of the halfway point now of the, of the final arc, really, if you think about it. So, yeah, three volumes left, or we have, again, we probably have two. Uh, I mean, I'm interested to see what how how what's gonna. I'm more, I'm cu more curious to see what's gonna happen with the anime now. Like if they're gonna announce, like yeah, we're getting a final season next year, because then that will be a big indication that yeah, the, the the series is coming to an end definitely early next year, or not. So I feel like that might give us some answers. But uh, at the moment, uh, yeah, cool chapter. I just can't wait to see what happens next, man. Like everything's just nuts at this point. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed my reaction to that. As always, like and subscribe, whatever, and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.